know that we spend about an entire week a year in the bathroom. It's 168 hours. Crazy, I know. So you want to make sure you keep it clean. You need to know what types of materials you have in your house, especially if it's stainless steel, granite, or marble, because those all need to be taken care of properly, right, Lisa? Yes, they're very easy to damage if you use a harsh chemical on them. So what we use is a citrus-based cleaner, and uh, it's a sanitizer as well. So what we do is spray it down. And would you have to use something different for the grout, or can you use this on we the grout use, as well? We can use it on the grout. We don't want anything harsh on it because it will drip down and damage the marble. So what we do is take the brush and just get right into the grout part. Is Do you find that's where a lot of the bacteria sits too? Yes, and it's also, um, it, it's also very wet all the time. So the bacteria does grow in there. So what you want to do is it's high maintenance. It's a high maintenance um, type of shower when you use marble because it's a natural stone and it's very easy to damage, like I said. So all you do is take the natural cleaner, brush out the grout to keep it to keep up with the, the, the dirt. And then you can take your cloth and just wipe it all down. And will that get rid of all of the soap, soap scum and build up? Yes. And the longer you let the, this product sit, the better it works. And if you use warm water, it's even better. And so how often should somebody be cleaning a shower or their marble shower? Is there a difference really? Um, it depends on the usage of it. I would say at least thoroughly once a week. Okay, yeah. and the tough part I find is cleaning the top of the shower. Yes, with the top of the shower, we spray it down as well and then we have an extended brush. So you're not trying to balance on the sides of the tub or the shower. Yeah. And then you use it and it brushes up like this. So awesome. everything gets scrubbed down and nothing gets missed. And would you use this cleaner on the overhead showers as well to yes. get the, the it, grime off? Yep, and it takes away the soap scum and it leaves it nice and shiny. Awesome. So when you're at home and you're cleaning, make sure you know your material and you know how to clean it because the worst thing is to wreck it. We'll see you next time. Now, I do want to mention coming out of that, a lot of times at the start of the new year, you think, oh, let's do something new and maybe get in a cleaning person. Um, I, am go I don't do this very often, but Posh is amazing. I have gone through so many cleaning people. I've tried you know, different people over the years and companies and stuff. I really like Lisa, so I brought her in, got a quote. Their prices are reasonable, very competitive, and they did a phenomenal job. So I'm just saying, if you happen to be looking, I'm saying they're a good a good group to call plus of course they're tied into the charity where they help uh, clean houses for people who have cancer so it's all good it makes you feel warm and fuzzy